It's finally spring, and I'm in Mount Hood National Forest on the Badger Creek Trails. here in 2007 which accounts for a lot of the exposure on the trail about to enter the burn area it's gonna be a hot walk this trail is super exposed it makes for some expansive views This area of Mount Hood is in what they call a rain shadow that's created by the Cascade Range. So it doesn't get much rain or snow and makes it perfect for an early spring excursion when you want to get off the couch and get your hiking legs back. This area is accessible as early as mid-March. Man, this slow and steady incline is kicking our butts. Pacemaker's living up to her trail name. We are getting pretty close to where we plan to stop for night one. It's about 3.6 miles in. There's a rock garden with some campsites. There's a helicopter landing spot with a campsite or two. And there's a nice little spring back behind both of those. So if the spring is running, that's where we plan to camp. Signs down. The helicopter landing spot viewpoint and campsite. Which means the rock garden is down below me and the spring is just up above me. rocks were interesting and that view is pretty phenomenal but I'm gonna check out the spring I'm a water girl I think I hear water now actually let's see what this campsite has to offer Ooh, this one comes with a barbecue too bad I don't have any meat site number three by the spring takes it at the flattest ground best benches safest fire pit closest proximity to water doesn't have the best view, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for dinner. Today's our low mile day, so we're chilling. We had a super nice and leisurely morning on day two. Now we're gonna hike to the miner's cabin. This section of the trail is nothing but downhill and no switchbacks. Off the trail, there's a pretty flat spot to camp, but more interestingly, this old mine. Spooky. Let's check it out. Oh my god, 
That is creepy as fuck. Yeah, there's no way I'm going in there. Ugh. So mine is super creepy. I don't even want to camp here, but let me know in the comments below if you've gone inside or you have friends that are crazy enough to go in there. Ugh. It's creepy. I don't like it. This is what's left of the miners' cabin. That's where the miners lived while they dug that creepy cave. They'd definitely rather camp down here. Not worry about my dog wandering off into some ancient haunted cave. It's creepy. Oh look, there's a bed frame. Bits of a stove, a fuel can. Oh, that's interesting. Things you find in the forest. It's been a pretty small cabin. Wildflowers have taken back over. Um, walking toward the campsite, very clearly a bone. See what I mean about this place being creepy? For sure haunted. Fire pit was in need of improvement. This is all she does when we get to camp. She loves this tent. Somebody once taught me to always try to build a one match fire. If I was stranded out here with one match left, could I get a fire going? It's pretty dry, so it should work. Let's see. rationing my whiskey. This fire's dying down and I got some liquid courage in me. Should we go check out that mine? Oh, it's scary. Let me find my headlamp. Oh, it's creepy. I'm so creeped out. I'll turn my headlamp on. Oh my God. Oh, look at this mine. feels haunted and gross. I'm out. I don't like it. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even make it that far, but I'm creeped out. <laughs> Holy crap. It feels really weird and spooky. Maybe I've watched too much true crime TV, but oh my gosh. Ooh. Creepy. Oh, it's day three. Neither one of us wants to get up. Send coffee. Puppies, Pop-Tarts, coffee, huevos. 
It's going to be a beautiful day. Gonna brush my teeth with my tiny, tiny little toothbrush kit from Z Packs. Gonna filter some water with my favorite filtering system. It's knock bag with a Sawyer filter. Just let gravity do all the work while I pack up. Get all this crap put back in that bag. Camp chores. Teeth first. I'm all packed up. I got my layered hydrate mix all mixed in, ready to hydrate me while I walk. Got my anchor solar panel all ready to charge while I hike too. I'll put uh, links to all of these in the description below. All this stuff is stuff that I've used for years and is tried and true. And this Hydrate by Laird Hamilton is so good and refreshing. It really is a nice change from water. So I'll put all that in the description below if you want to check it out and let me know if you have any questions. But for now, you're ready to hike. Off, off into the forest I go to lose my mind and free my soul. <sighs> Hoping for a lot more canopy cover today. This part of the hike should be a little more sheltered. I know my dog will appreciate it. Her paws are looking a little rough. Gotta get some musher secret when I get home, poor thing. This is my jam. favorite kind of trail. You can hear water to my right, birds all around me, sunlight cascading through the forest. Love this stuff. We're walking along this road now. The trail ended and we're taking this to the Little Badger campground. Badger Creek Campground, but all the campsites are taken. It's only three and it's Saturday, so I was kind of afraid that might happen. So we're gonna have to improvise after I'm done cooling my dogs. This creek is really lovely and peaceful, but there's not a lot of suitable backcountry campsites around it. And I'm thinking I might just hike back to the car. It's not that far away. If my dog can't make it, I can carry her. Maybe just call it quits a day early. Kind of figured this might happen with it being the weekend and only three campsites at this campground, but it was worth a shot. It's not that far back to the car. I had a great trip. See you next time.